Today in our 2017 Honda Pilot, we'll be having a look at and installing the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13146. All right, here's what our hitch looks like installed. As you can see, our hitch is completely hidden by our rear fascia. The only part hanging down is the part we'll be using, the actual Class 3 2-inch receiver itself with our safety chain loops. One great feature about this hitch that we have is we have ample clearance around our fascia with the receiver, making this hitch ideal to use with any hitch mounted accessory, especially bike racks and cargo carriers. Our safety chain loops are a rolled steel design, which are welded on to the bottom of the receiver, and they are a fairly large opening, and we shouldn't have much of any problems using most safety chain hooks on them. If you have a really large one, you may need to swap it out to a smaller one to make it fit easier. On the side of our receiver here, you'll find our industry standard 5 8 of an inch diameter hitch pin hole to secure any of our hitch mounted accessories. This receiver features a nice welded on collar here to help give it some extra strength and add to its finished appearance, giving it a factory like appearance underneath our vehicle. Okay, our hitch features a 900 pound max tongue weight rating, which is the amount of force going down. It also features a 6,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating, which is the amount it can pull. It does allow the use of weight distribution. However, our max tone weight rating stays the same at 900 pounds, but our max gross trailer weight rating increases to 8,000 pounds. You'll want to consult with the owner's manual of your Honda Pilot and not exceed the limits the vehicle is rated for. What I really like about this hitch compared to others on the market is the fact of how concealed it is underneath our vehicle. We only see the actual receiver in itself, which is great because it doesn't detract away from our vehicle's great appearance. Also, our hitch is tucked up behind the fascia a little bit, so when we're loading cargo into our hatch area, we don't have to worry about running our shins into it. Now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch mounted accessory you may need, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or a cargo carrier, you're looking at about 14 inches from the ground to the top of the two inch receiver opening and about five inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the rearmost part of the back bumper. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. All right, to begin our install, we'll start by opening our hatch. Now we'll open up our cargo cover. Now we'll gain access to our spare tire tools. They're off on the driver's side. Now right in the middle of our cargo area, We'll see our spare tire indicator here. We'll pry this open. Take out this rubber plug. We'll use our tire iron, small end, to go over that part. Then we'll use our hook, go into our tire iron, go counterclockwise, and we'll lower our spare tire. And we'll get our spare tire out of the way. All right, with our spare tire down now, we have clear access to all of our attachment points. We'll have a look over at our driver's side and we'll point them out. We have three weld nuts on our frame rail right at the bottom. Our passenger side is the exact same way, so whatever we do on the driver's side, we'll do the same on the passenger side. It's a good idea to take a wire brush and clean out those weld nuts of any loose dirt and debris, which could make it difficult for the bolt to go in. We have these brushes available on our website as part number 814092. So we'll just go in and out of them a few times to help clean out the threads. All right, with our weld nuts all cleaned out, we'll point out our hardware that we'll be using. We'll have a bolt. We have six of these, they're all identical, and six conical tooth washers. Washer goes on the bolt. The teeth of the washer will face up towards the hitch and towards the body of the vehicle. Again, everything's all the same. So now we'll grab an extra set of hands and raise the hitch on up in position and secure it with the bolts. Okay, so we'll raise it up. And place our hardware in a position. All right, now we'll use a 22 millimeter socket and tighten up our bolts. And now we'll torque all of our hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. All 
right, we went ahead and put our spare tire back up. And as you can see, it fits back into its original position perfectly. Now we'll put everything back the way it was originally. And that completes our look at and installation of the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13146 on our 2017 Honda. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.